What is up, everybody? JT Dangerous Slayer once again. I am back to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 1 2021 predictions. Now, Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 1 happens this Thursday morning live on NewJapanWorld.com from the Osaka Professional Gymnasium in Osaka, Japan. Now, this card for Night 1 of Summer Struggle in Osaka is pretty solid from top to bottom. We have six fantastic matches, so I am extremely excited to do my Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 1 predictions for you guys this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record coming into Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 1 this year after our last New Japan Pro Wrestling event, which was Summer Struggle in Sapporo Night 1 and Night 2, we went to combine 10 and 2. So, our overall record coming in is 402, 127, and 4. So, we're coming in extremely hot, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So, hoping this video we will continue. The Red Hot Winning Ways are on a seven pay-per-view winning streak over this video we make it number eight hopefully now this is the second video of a combined five video day on our channel today and this week guys so hope you guys are able to watch this video and all the fantastic videos we'll be putting up on the channel in the month of july this year it is the summer of dangerously so show your support by watching these videos super kicking those like buttons hitting that notification bell commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, pick the good one if you're a huge fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling, like myself, and you're ready for Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 1 from the Osaka Professional Gym in Osaka, Japan. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club, because this club is... Just, just two... Woo again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Let's start off with the first matchup. It is a six man tag team battle with momentum at stake for Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome. On one side, they are all representing chaos, consisting of the former five time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They are Sho and Yo, Rapungi 3K, and their partner is the number one contender for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship at Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome on July 25th. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Chaos's Sniper of the Sky, Robbie Eagles. And their opponents are all representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, consisting of Doki, and the former three time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, the Heel Master Yoshinobu Kanemaru, and the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, the Rogue Luchador El Desperado. Now, this matchup is all about momentum because at Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome on July 25th, El Desperado will defend the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship against Robbie Eagle. So, this matchup is all about momentum. So, coming from me in this six man tag team battle with momentum at stake for Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship and the ongoing war between Chaos and Suzuki Gun. I am going to go with the Chaos Squad of Robbie Eagles and Rapungi 3K to get it done and defeat the Suzuki Gun Squad of Doki, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, and El Desperado by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team battle with momentum at stake for the co- and main event match at Summer Struggle in Nagoya. On one side, they are two-thirds of the reigning never open weight six-man tag team champions representing Chaos, the headhunter Yoshihashi, the stone pit bull Tomohiro Ishii, and their partner is the former never open weight champion and the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to hold that IWGP Heavyweight Championship eight times. He is indeed the ace of the universe, and if you know his music, his old music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Hiroshi Tanahashi, 
and our opponents are all representing the cutthroat darkness era of consisting of the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi, King of Darkness Evil, and the former Never Open Weight Champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Kenta. Now this matchup has a lot of momentum because at Summer Struggle in Nagoya, we will see Tomohiro Ishii face King of Darkness Evil. And in the main event of that show, we will see Hiroshi Tanahashi face off against Kenta. So this matchup is all about momentum. So coming from me in this six-man tag team battle with momentum at stake for struggle, so, Summer Struggle in Nagoya for the co and the main event, I am going to go... With the Bullet Club squad of Yujiro Takahashi, King of Darkness Evil, and Kenta to get it done and defeat the team of Yoshihashi, Tomohiro Ishii, and Hiroshi Tanahashi by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a tag team showdown with momentum at stake for Wrestling Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome. On one side, they are both representing chaos, consisting of the other half of the reigning never open weight six-man tag team champions, the fierce warrior Hiroki Goto. And his partner is the leader of chaos, and he is the former five-time IWGP heavyweight champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada, and their opponents are both representing the United Empire, consisting of Dominator, the Great Okan, and the Hatchet, Jeff Cobb. Now this matchup does have a lot of momentum for Wrestling Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome on July 25th, because we will see Kazuchika Okada face off against Jeff Cobb in only their second meeting in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So this matchup is all about momentum for that big matchup in the Tokyo Dome. So coming from me in this tag team showdown, where there's momentum at stake for Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome on July 25th, and the ongoing war between Chaos and the United Empire... I am going to go with my boys in the United Empire, Dominator Great Okan and the Hatchet Jeff Cobb to get it done and defeat the Chaos Squad of Hiroki Goto and Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a tag team showdown with momentum at stake for the main event of Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome. On one side, you have the team of Way to the Grand Master, Master Wato and his partner. He is the number one contender for the undisputed IWGP Championship at Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome on July 25th. And he is the former IWGP Heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental Champion. And he is the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to win the New Japan Cup, the best of Super Juniors, and and the G1 Climax Tournament. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. And he is Kane Gaming's favorite wrestler. He is Golden Star, Ibushi Kota! And their opponents are both representing Los Ingobernables de Apone, consisting of MX Bushi and the reigning undisputed IWGP champion, the former two-time Never Openweight champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He 
the Rampaging Dragon Shingo Takagi. Now this matchup has a lot of momentum at stake because we already know in the main event of Wrestling Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome, Shingo Takagi will defend the undisputed IWGP Championship against the first undisputed champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling, Kota Ibushi, in the much anticipated rematch in the main event in the Tokyo Dome. So this matchup is all about momentum. Now, Kota Ibushi has not been on this summer struggle tour since he, uh, he's been dealing with the side effects of the COVID vaccine. So hopefully he'll be ready to go and back in action. So coming from me in this massive tag team showdown with momentum, at stake for the main event at Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome for the undisputed IWGP Championship. I am going to go with the team of Master Wato and Kota Ibushi to get it done and defeat the LIJ squad of Bushi and the Rampaging Dragon Shingo Takagi by any means. And now the next matchup. It is a special singles match with momentum at stake for Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome. On one side, he is representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, and he is a former two-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. And in my opinion, he is the greatest technical wrestler in the wrestling world today. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. <laughs> He is Zack Saber Jr. and his opponent is representing Los Ingobernables de Apon and he is one half of the new IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is Cold Skull Sonata. Now this is only the sixth one-on-one -on -one meeting between Zack Sabre Jr. and Cold Skull Sonata. Sonata leads the all-time series 3-2. to two. Now the last time Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Sonata one-on-one -on -one was all the way back at Wrestle Kingdom 14 last year. And Sonata's last victory over Zack Sabre Jr. happened at last year's 20th G1 Climax Tournament on October the 6th. Now, this matchup is has a lot of momentum at stake because at Wrestle Grand Slam, Zack Sabre Jr. and Taichi will go after the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships and the champions Sonata and Naito in the co-main event. Now, starting off with Zack Sabre Jr. first, he is just coming off losing the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team titles at Summer Struggle in Sapporo Night 2 to Sonata and, Naito, uh, Sonata and Naito. So, Zack Sabre Jr. is looking to get some momentum into their possible regaining of the Tag Team Championships. There is how you have Cold Skull Sonata looking to come out, looking to get a big one-on-one -on -one victory here and looking to extend his winning streak against Zack Sabre Jr. one-on-one. -on -one. And Sonata is just coming off winning his third IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship and his first with Tetsuya Naito and he is looking to get another big victory here. So coming from me in this special singles matchup between Dangerous Techers and Los Ingobernables de Alpone with momentum at stake for Russell Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. This one's tough. You got the technical submission style of Zack Sabre Jr. versus the Skull Inn and the Muda Moonsault from Cold Skull Sonata. So this one's definitely going to be good because when they these two guys go at it, it's always a it's always a classic and a banger. But coming from me, I am going to go with the greatest technical wrestler in the wrestling world today, Zack Sabre Jr. to get it done and defeat Cold Skull Sonata by any means in a banger. 
And now, the main event. It is another special singles matchup with momentum at stake for Wrestle Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome on July 25th for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Starting off on one side, he is also representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, and he is the other half of the former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, a former two time Never Open Weight Champion. And if you know his music, hopefully he'll be accompanied by the beautiful Miho Abe. You'll know who I'm talking about. He is Lord Taichi, and his opponent is the leader of Los Ingobernables de Apon, and he is the other half of the brand new IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion, the former IWGP Heavyweight Champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Ooh, Naito! He is Tetsuya Naito. Now this is the sixth one-on-one -on -one meeting between Lord Taichi and Tetsuya Naito. Naito leads the old-time series four to one. Now Lord Taichi's last victory over Tetsuya Naito was all the way back in the 2019 G1 Climax Tournament. And Naito's last victory over Te uh, Lord Taichi was at Power Struggle in 2019. Now starting off with Lord Taichi first is a big matchup for him, a chance to finally beat Tetsuya Naito one on one for the first time in over two years. And with Lord Taichi losing the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships to Naito and Sonata at Summer Struggle in Sapporo Night 2, Taichi wants to get some momentum going into their huge matchup in the Tokyo Dome in that rematch. There is idea of Tetsuya Naito looking to continue the winning ways. I mean, this is his this is his first IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship reign since 2010, which I didn't even know he held the Tag Team Championships with Yujiro Takahashi. So it, I am happy that Naito finally ended that long that long drought of not holding the Tag Team Championships, and now Naito's looking to make it a, looking to make it another win over his lordship. So coming from me in this. Very special singles main event matchup with momentum at stake for Russell Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships and the ongoing war between Suzuki Gun and Los Ingobernables de Apon. As much as I would love to pick Tetsuya Naito here, Taichi is absolutely due for a victory here. So coming from me, I'm going to go with his lordship, Lord Taichi, to get it done and defeat Tetsuya Naito by any means in a banger. And those are my New Japan Pro Wrestling Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 1 2021 predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Comment below. Who do you see winning these two special singles matchups between Dangerous Techers and Los Ingobernables de Apon? And let me know, what is the big matchup you're looking forward to when it comes to Russell Grand Slam in the Tokyo Dome? For me, it is Shingo and Ibushi for the Undisputed IWGP Championship and Kazuchika Okada and Jeff Cobb. But let me know what you guys think and let me know all of your picks and your opinions in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to you because comments and your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. And I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, score super kick, that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're getting so close to that 900 subscriber mark, but YouTube tells me that nearly 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet. So what are you guys waiting for? If you guys are a fan of professional wrestling when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, AEW, NXT, Ring of Honor, and the WWE, and you're a fan of professional sports when it comes to the NFL, Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NHL, college football, college basketball, super kick that subscribe button. It's free. Become part of this bigger, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys later today 
for my New Japan Pro Wrestling's Summer Struggle in Osaka Night 2 2021 predictions. Sonata Taichi 2 and Zack Sabre Jr. Naito 6. Later days, guys, and peace.